Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, well, as you've seen, small toy hunt, but big return. This is the reveal for this week. And it's pretty insane. Only got one Funko, but I ordered a few stuff is coming in and picked up a lot of comic books. So yeah, it's pretty insane. Not to mention, as you see, uh, right there, been fixing the room. Not really complete yet. Have uh, probably, hopefully, by next year, everything will look the way it should. No, not complete, complete, but on the way. And another small toy hunt video also coming. Reveal so far, just comic books. But we'll see what happens. To spend a little money today on more shelves. So finally getting things done. So like I said, only one Funko today. And that is Darth Malgus. So we have Darth Mogus, Darth Treya, and HK-47, which is all legends of the Star Wars gaming world, all from Knights of the Old Republic, Knights of the Old Republic 2. So unless they come out with Darth Bane, this is the last Star Wars Funko. So my Star Wars Funko collection is complete. We did get Conan the Barbarian. So, we went a little crazy. Picked up Power Girl. Just for the cover. One of my favorite DC characters, one of my favorite Marvel characters. The Uncanny X-Men Marvel Issue 1, Disco Dazzler, however it's not Dazzler, it is magic. And had to pick up this cover for magic, X-Men number 2. Miss Marvel Supergirl Chitara Let's 
looks amazing. And then Power Rangers Godzilla. Now we get into the actual comic books. Masters of the Universe. Masterverse number one. Godzilla Rivals. Cover A. One shot. Godzilla. Space Godzilla. Another one shot. Je Jaguar versus Megalo Megalon. <sighs> the giant freaking beetle. Did pick up a few Godzilla. Number 10. Little by little, finishing in my collection. 18 and 19. And to finish everything out, some G.I. Joe's. Number four, number six, the October Guard, number 27, part two of Snake Eyes Origins, and number 46, I always loved this cover. Like I said, I'm not trying to pick up every Transformers and every G.I. Joe comic. But I'm trying to pick up some of the ones that I remember loving to read. Just to have. However, I did end up ordering the... Uh, G.I. Joe comic collection from Skybound. I will be trying to get the Transformers comic collection from Skybound. There is quite a few things I've ordered online. I still need to do a couple mailbox entries. Like I said, I already got some comic books for the next reveal. Surprisingly, I haven't really found a lot of uh, things, to collectibles, toys, action figures, Funkos that I want of late, thankfully. But there is a lot of stuff that I'm ordering online that is pretty crazy so I'm really thankful to get the opportunity and you guys will definitely be seeing them uh, I have hopefully a lot more G.I. Joe classifieds coming 
I did have to cancel a couple of those for a little bit down the line as I got other things I had to order. Uh, besides the G.I. Joe comic collection, the G.I. Joe classified Cobra Rattler was a must for me. Uh, Crystal Dynamics has cre or is creating a graphic novel that takes place between the PS1 game Legacy of Cain and I think the PS2 Soul Reaver. Which I'm definitely picking up. Uh, I'm not a Spawn fan, but I am going to pick up the McFarlane Spawn Knight. He'll fit right in with the knights I'm trying to collect and like I said I am a comic book fan uh, quite a few things coming out Godzilla, there's two Godzillas coming out in, one in September one in October there's a bunch of video games Like I said, pretty insane. So, I mean, the Cobra Rattler won't be coming in until 2025 fall. So, that is a long way off. Everything else should be coming in by the end of this year and beginning of next year. I am finding a lot of things on Kickstarter. A lot of things online I still need to order. I definitely love doing hunting, trying to find things in Hawaii. Unfortunately, it's pretty damn hard being on a small island. There is a part of me that kind of wants the J Lego Jaws but then there's a part of me is where am I going to put it? Like I said, little by little everything is getting completed. I am very humbled by all of you that's been watching my toy hunts. I am very thankful for all of you. Uh, like I said, one of the biggest reasons I'm doing these is not really for me, as most people may think. I, I want to show these shops here in Hawaii. 
hopefully help get more people coming in want to show these shops here in Hawaii to the people in the mainland so when they come down they know where to go it's a uh, aloha thing I guess a Hawaii thing that we wanna try and do our best to help the local smaller sh businesses as well as some of the bigger businesses like Walmart and Target Macy's I also but at the same time I also want to show the world what exactly Hawaii gets compared to what the mainland gets that we are I guess Hawaii and Alaska literally gets the smaller shipments that nobody wants that we don't really get the big toys and truthfully I think it's kind of working because now A lot of people have been recently going to book off downtown. Like literally when we first started this, there were maybe two cars in the parking lot every single time. Now there's no place to park. It's bad for us that we want to go shopping. But it, it feels great knowing that more people are going to these stores, hopefully. Understanding that they exist, hopefully. Anyway guys, like I said, there's a lot of work I have to do, a lot more stuff to order. <sighs> little by little getting everything the way I want it to look. But like I said, I am very thankful, very humbled for all of you I do hope you enjoy all my videos I, I really don't know exactly what I'm doing but I don't recall seeing anybody doing toy hunting videos before in Hawaii or collectible videos before in Hawaii anyway guys girls like I said this week's reveal a lot of comics one Funko definitely hope you guys saw something you might like uh, like I said that there's some comics I'm collecting just to collect just because I love the artwork 
the cover artwork. Uh, I am trying to collect the entire Godzilla series for Marvel. Hopefully trying to collect all of the series for the smaller Marvel uh, Visionaries, Silverhawks, Thundercats, He-Man, the Obscure comics. Uh, when I started collecting these, I had a uh, clear image of what I wanted to do. was trying to keep collecting these down to a small portion of everything. Doesn't look like it's ending up that way. I saw before this the, my regular comic book collection And it looks like I shot myself in the leg. But, like I said, hopefully I'm getting close to finishing a few of my other collections. So we'll see how things goes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be safe out there. Take care. Uh, yeah, if you guys, for those who subscribe, thank you guys for subscribing. I'm not a big social media YouTuber. When I started my YouTube channel, it was just to show gameplay of video games, talk about video games, now it's basically, well, more collectible stuff, I still want to do a lot of the video gaming stuff, kind of a well-rounded YouTube channel, but unlike most channels, I completely understand, I, I am nothing, a small YouTuber on a small island. I am definitely nothing without all of you. I think that's what a lot of YouTube people have forgotten. Uh, the idea is you make a video people will watch. Honestly, no, not really. I mean, I, there's a lot of YouTube videos I don't watch, so. Anyway, guys, like I said, thank you so much for all the views. Even if you don't subscribe, be safe out there. We'll see you soon. Aloha.